Hello there, this is James Oscroft, you know it's RT78, and if you haven't seen my review of the first three episodes of this rancid pig's manure, then the link is listed down as the underbar, but in the end though, it honestly doesn't make the blindest bit of difference, because while there is so much that I could spend hours picking apart in episodes four to six of Cult, the bottom line is that these three episodes are what I describe as shock porn, which is to say that in each episode there are one or two over-the-top water-cooler moments at the beginning and at the very end, which were cynically designed for the express purpose of getting everyone to gasp over them on Twitter, regardless of how little sense they made. In episode 4, for example, it's a Trump thumper cutting off his own hand in order to vote, after two Hillary supporters chained him up in a basement in order to prevent him from doing so, which could potentially have been a really powerful scene if Trump hadn't won in Michigan by more than 10,000 votes, making his vote or any individual woman voting for Jill Stein to pick a hypothetical out of thin air entirely irrelevant, it might also potentially have been a profound and insightful scene if the heroic sacrifice of this insecure white boy cutting off his own hand in order to prevent a pair of ovaries from entering the White House hadn't spit in the faces of every woman and person of colour who has literally given their lives for the right to vote. But even leaving all of that aside though, the stupid, ridiculous throw Oh, a comic relief line just as the guy's about to irreversibly mutilate himself solely to stick it to those nasty women who now have the right to hurt his delicate white boy feelings. Ah, but that's the perfect metaphor for how white men in particular cut off their own noses to spite Hillary Clinton by voting for Trump in the first place. Yes, the laziest possible metaphor, making a point so obvious that it's not even worth mentioning in the most gratuitously graphic and obscene manner possible, because that's what makes it hashtag mature, if you're an emotionally stunted 12-year-old. So, are we certain that Quentin Tarantino didn't write and or direct this bullshit? In episode 5, it's the revelations for those three people who hadn't already figured it out yet, both at the beginning and at the end, that, as I predicted, both the protagonist's wife, Ivy, and the protagonist's therapist are a part of, or at the very least, in the therapist's case, involved in the cult, as well as the cult taking it in turns to shoot their quote-unquote weakest link, a man who I don't think we'd ever seen before this episode, in the head with a nail gun. Is this series mature yet? And in episode 6, it's the opening scene of Ali apparently shooting the cult leader at a political rally, implying that his cunning plan was to drive her insane and strip her of everything that she loved so that she would try to assassinate him in order for him to gain national attention and notoriety because that plan isn't at all overly complicated, dangerous, or bound to backfire, even if it is possible to actually get it to work. Of course. It's so simple. Wait, no it's not. It's needlessly complicated. Yes, it is. But then at the end, there was the revelation that Meadow was actually the shooter after pretending to be held prisoner by the cult so that Ali would believe that she was saving her and Meadow could tell her everything was all part of Kai's evil plan all along so that nobody would believe her even when the truth was revealed because obviously she is insane. And yeah, having crowbarred in a convenient retcon about how Ali's wife always hated her and only stayed with her because she'd never be granted custody of their son, it turns out that the whole arc in the first three episodes in which the cult was trying to drive Ali insane so that Ivy could take Oz and no one would ever believe her, <laughs> with absolutely no indication that Ivy hated her, by the way, was all utterly incidental, no different from the election of Donald Trump, because the tosser who wrote this garbage and apparently also wrote Glee as well is really just making this shit up as he goes along. A casino where I always win? That's boring. I must really be... In hell! No, Mr. Smith. You're not in heaven or hell. You're on an airplane. <laughs> There's a gremlin destroying the plane! You've got to believe me! Why should I believe you? You're Hitler! No! Ava Braun, help me! Saw <laughs> it coming. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. 